Our project to try and protect water voles by eradicating American mink from North Kent has been given the go-ahead. Mink are an invasive species which pose a particular threat to the water vole because the carnivorous mink view them as prey alongside other small mammals, fish and birds. Water voles, in contrast, are vegetarian. They only eat grasses and waterside plants. But now almost £100,000 has been made available to the Kent Wildlife Trust to cull the mink between Gravesend and Whitstable and to reintroduce the voles. Our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin, has the details. American mink, an invader and a predator. So abundant now in the countryside, they've played a lead role in the collapse of native water vole populations. So now a new project is underway to stop the mink in their tracks. So this habitat is actually potentially really good uh, for water voles and for a range of other uh, bird species, so things like moorhen and coot. Um, but the big problem is we've got very large populations of mink, American mink here. Uh, it's a non-native species and, and like anywhere where you reintroduce or you introduce something that's non-native, it causes havoc in the environment. And we use these platforms here uh, to monitor the presence of mink and, and to help control them. So how do you get them to go in there? Well, mink are very uh, curious creatures and they, they like small spaces like this, so they start to use it, we'll monitor the signs of presence, and then once we've found that they're there, we'll, we'll put in the trap and start the trapping process before the mink start to breed. American mink were imported into Britain in the 1920s for fur farming. Some escaped and some were deliberately released by animal rights protesters. They liked their new environment. The plan now is to cull the mink on 80 square miles of North Kent, from Sheppey to Seasalter. While we can control mink and enhance habitats very easily here, what we're trying to do with this project is expand our work across a far wider area. We've still got little pockets of water voles in the North Kent marshes, but they're really hanging on here, what with habitat fragmentation and the pressures of the American mink. Um, so it's hoped that by working across this wide project area, we're really going to give them a chance. And here at Wildwood near Canterbury, there are water voles in waiting. More than 80 breeding pairs, producing animals that will be able to boost numbers in the wild once the mink have gone. So by protecting wetlands, controlling mink, our children are going to be able to experience, you know, the little ratty here, ratty from Wind in the Willows, back on our river banks. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Canterbury.